All right, so I'm here to show you one of my other creations, uh, something else I've never seen before, is I am making these yo-yo rings. And let me show you how I do that. Take that off. I got some of them made already over here. What had happened is I had ordered some of these ring backs from China. And they're adjustable on the bottom, and they got a pretty good size plate on the top. And what I was going to do was get uh, the wren eggs would have fit perfectly in here if I could have gotten wren eggs, those small eggs that I showed you in my egg video. I was going to have them split in half, and um, I was going to paint scenes on the little halves and put them on the e on the rings so that you would have uh, like egg rings as well. So these have been kind of sitting on my shelf, and I and I haven't been able to find any split wren eggs. So what I've done is I've decided to use these since I'm doing yo-yo crafts right now to make yo-yo rings and I think they're the cutest little thing and um, you know I think they're great for the kids uh, to wear to school and whatever I think they'll be like a latest fad you know they're wearing such big giant rings now they got those rhinestone you know they got those stretch rings and the big giant rhinestone flowers and big giant butterflies so I thought it would be cute to make these so I'm going to show you how to make one of those today so I have some of these two and a half inch um, cut out circles that I'm using for my um, my yo-yos. These are made out of one inch yo-yos, okay? And um, I've got some two and a half inch circles here and that makes a one inch yo-yo. I'm not going to show you again how to make a yo-yo. You can go online and figure it out. On YouTube there's a million videos on it but this is what it comes out to be a one inch size yo-yo and then I've got a strip of green here that I'd say is about three inches by one inch and what I do for the leaves is I just start at one corner and I just roll it up roll it up keep rolling it and I just keep rolling it up and rolling it up and then once I get to the end, I've got a long piece like this. I didn't know that little piece was sticking out the end, so we'll just cut that off. I'm not going to worry about the fraying or whatnot, uh, because, you know, these are only going to be worn as rings, and they're for children, and I don't really believe I'm going to worry much about the fraying. I think the more it frays, the more it'll look like a leaf. So I'm going to take the end here where the, uh, the end of the roll-up is, and I'm going to put a dot of glue right on that end, like so and then I'm just gonna fold it in half but kind of off to the side so that it looks like two leaves okay and then I'm just gonna take the ring back put it on my finger there put a dab of glue on it on the ring back and you can get these online on eBay it from China Everything comes from China. I got 24 of these. I think it cost me $9, though, uh, with shipping included for 24 of these out of China. And they got all different kinds, sizes. They got silver ones. These happen to be antique brass or something, but, and they're adjustable. You know, the bottom is moving up and down. And um, I, I just happened to buy these because I thought they would go better with the eggs. But they're actually looking really cute going with the uh, the yo-yo flowers. So then you take your one inch yo-yo and you put some glue on top of that and you you would hear your one inch yo-yo right in the center. Now you gotta be careful when you put hot glue on metal, which is what I've got here, the metal gets hot. So you know just be careful with your fingers. Hopefully I'm not too close. This macro sometimes you gotta be a good amount away. And if any glue comes over the edge, just pull it off. And then you have your little flower. Now to complete it, I put a button on the top. And I'm going to search for a button right now. I'll probably just use a white one. No, uh, let's see. I'll use this white one here. I think this will work. Yeah. Get one a little smaller than that. Maybe a little brighter than that. Yeah, I think that one works fine. And I'm going to put a little dotted glue right at the top of that flower 
put on your button, push it down for a few seconds. Pull off any excess glue. This button happened to have strings on it, which I think just kind of makes it look more cool. But if you want, you can cut those strings off. I love my grandmother's scissors. These scissors have been around for about 50 years and they're still cutting well. And you can get any excess glue off of there and there you have it. You've got yourself a flower ring. And I made this pretty orange one here, which I, I really love this orange one. I think it's really pretty. And you just put it on. You find a finger that I have free here. And the kids can walk around with little flower yo-yos to go with the little pins that I made. Well, it'll fit on any finger because it's a, it's a stretchable, um, the bottom is a one size fit all, so it'll, it'll pretty much go to any finger that you like. And, uh, just move those leaves off to the side, or you can have the leaves facing down, and you can have them facing up, however you like them facing. And I've got that one, i got a pink one here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make all of these. I've got 24, I think, of these. Uh, ring backs, and this is what they look like without, without anything on it. Once again, and uh, add a little bit more to my crafting pleasure. And um, there you have it, a yo-yo angel ring. Let me see if I can get a better, a better shot of it here from a distance. A different background. Don't those look darling? I think they are darling. I really do. And we're losing the light because we're about to have a thunderstorm here right now. You can see outside. I don't know. <laughs> but that's what they look like. Yo-yo flower rings. Something else from Prim and Proper Designs. And like I said, we're going to be making a whole bunch of stuff. We've got some, uh, uh, I'm going to be making angel pins out of starlight mint pattern yo-yos uh, with white wings and pearl, uh, white pearl halos and uh, sleepy looking faces and little white ribbon fronts. And those are going to be just beautiful. And um, as you know, I've already made a bunch of my flower baby. These are my flower baby pins. Something new. This is a new creation from Prim and Proper Designs of the flower baby pins. And um, this morning I made some angels out of some netting that I had left over from when I made favors for my daughter's um, baby shower. So I found some 10 inch netted circles. And um, you know, if you if you look up how to make a uh, an angel out of a doily. Um, but it's pretty much the same idea. So I made some of those this morning and I only got four rings made. I got some sewing to do. And don't forget two and a half inch circles make a one inch yo-yo. A four and a half inch circle makes a two inch yo-yo. And then of course the rest is just math. And then you know, like I said for the leaves you just fold a little three inch by one inch piece. Just keep folding it, folding it all the way down. Okay, so I hope you have fun coming up with some of your own ideas or uh, just doing what I do and bringing it to your craft show and see how it does. I can't wait to go to my craft show this November, but I've got a lot of time to play with these things while I wait, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to sell these rings for about a dollar a piece. I think I'm going to have a whole table that's just going to be a dollar. Whatever's on the table will be a dollar. I also got headbands coming. I'm going to put flowers on top of headbands. Maybe they can match so that they can have a ring and a headband and a pin and everything, you know, whatever they want, they can match. It'll all be a dollar a piece. So I think that'll be kind of fun. And then don't forget, I've got my angel plant stakes as well. That's a video that I have online right now. So look up my um, garden angel plant stakes, my um, flower baby pins, and now my um, flower rings, uh, yo-yo flower rings and uh, pretty soon it'll be Christmas pins and <laughs> we get all kinds of stuff coming. So thank you for watching another video from Prim and Proper Designs.